Take it easy. Sorry, didn't mean to intrude. My bad. Always stuck on stairs, huh? Thought that barrel was a chest for a moment. Take it easy. You know what? There actually was one. The only reason I thought about it for even a second. There actually was a chest pretty close to Mondstadt that I had missed. You know, after all of this time. Why did that do no damage? Oh, he's getting healed. Oh yes, sabotage. This is what I've been waiting for. Thank you for complete Add Astra Oop, force of habit No expeditions Here to serve. Yeah, let's go on a big adventure Hey, yo, what? I'm not... I didn't mean to do that.
How long? Six hours. I know that's like soon, but for right now, that just feels like it feels like forever. If you ever, I just need to pick up one thing from here. Just one thing from here, and I'll have that achievement and a name card. Oh, I forgot to grab a water. Guess I'll just be dehydrated for the whole stream. That's fine. Actually, since I know that I don't need that box anymore, I get the privilege to use the fast gliding gadget after lord knows how long. Did I not figure this out yet? Klee doesn't do any damage. Do I have a hint? At all? Find a way to open the path that Yakov took. La, la, la. I'm going in. What's on my Aloy? A random assortment. Okay. Well, I can do that for Klee for now. Three thousand attack? What? Go off, I guess. Oh, 
I need to go craft some more of these. I almost want to just go back on my own stream and just be like, what the hell were we doing? Uh, yeah, so... From the bot. From the bottom, it goes up and to the left, up and to the right, and then makes a triangle. that why wait no very confused look at it again up into the left up into the right and then we make a triangle to the left to the right triangle Tell me I'm wrong. I mean, it doesn't exactly look right. I partially loaded in, that's totally fine. Okay, yeah, that doesn't really look the same at all. I don't know. What happens if I go near them? They just disappear? Is there a quest item? Oh, wait. Where can we change the island exactly? Hey. Now I just go up. We'll use this key. Yeah. That's as far as up as we go? What? Bullshit. Bye bye, stink lord. Okay, well, I don't remember where to go in. This is what a few days away from Genshin looks like. I just have no clue what's going on anymore.
What? No chance. Why do we still have the key? Oh, this is also still a thing that we're doing. I swear the sea salt crusted key was for this. So I'm gonna take a picture of that thing right there. See if we can't make that down here. Let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know about this. Hey, wait a minute. I switched the island around. This thing is still here. Look for an objective in this area. So this thing's not here anymore. What's up with that? Ooh, wait. Not probably not, but I'm going to take a picture of that one anyway. Cuz I still don't really believe that I've done anything significant with it, besides taking the one part of it. It's gonna be a hassle to get all the way back up there. I don't know about this one. I'm gonna think no. Two options for that one.
Okay, pretty <gasps> odd. Don't really... Doesn't seem right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm. There's an eight on the other one, yeah? Yeah, so that's not. It's not this, that's for sure. But I really don't want to go through all this trouble. I'm just very confused. I'm lost. I don't even know why I stopped mid midway through the quest. Oh, hey, wait a moment. This isn't the same thing, is it? One, two, three, four, five. No, this one is different. These still, they do. They still light up in a certain order. It's raining again? Oh, this isn't good. If the rain washes away the traces, it's gonna set us back a long way. Maybe... What if I do the same order that it was before for these guys? A chest full of valuables and a trove of potential clues. Well, thank you. I don't remember what the order is, unfortunately. This is not cool. I wish I remembered the order so badly right now. Looking stuff up for Genshin is also just terrible. Navigating the world is a whole lot easier with a few different identities to choose from. I don't think these are... Need me to come up with some for you? What? No, 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 no. Good lord. Take it easy. See, just swapping back and forth with between these things for me to even just like eke out a sense of familiarity. I'm not digging it.
time to begin work? All right, let's head off. Time to begin work? Time to begin work? I didn't even switch the team. Do we go bottom up? From top to bottom. I think Pyro was up top. But I never did find the Animo symbol. So, Pyro... Animo... Next on the agenda... And then Hydra was on the bottom? Okay, cool. So before I forget that, I'm gonna write that in my notes. Pyro, Animo. It's raining again. Oh, this isn't good. Cryo. The washes away the traces. And Hydro. Set us back a long way. Where did this take us? Oh, it just took us to one of the secret areas up here. Okay, with confidence this time. Pyro. Animone. Cryone. Hydro. Animo to get up there. Time to go. And I can get a clearer view from up here. But what good does that do me? Clear weather all around brightens the heart. I mean, I can. I can draw this thing. But again, what good does that do me? I've tried it already. Okay, I drew I, I drew it in my notes. Looking like a fool. I I don't really quit looking at our sleepy cheeseburger. What's up? It's been a a little second. Thank you for the whopping twenty one month arenos. <laughs> How's it popping, friendio? Oh, I'm just struggling with this puzzle. Well, multiple puzzles. I don't know how to progress this quest. I totally forgot what I was doing.
But can I even actually make this design? I was just floating in the sky. Uh, this is backwards, for one. <laughs> Don't even think about that. My logic tells me this is correct. About to skip the game and go straight to Celestia. Wouldn't it be weird if just nobody was over there? Okay, yeah, that's not right. Also, Reese. Okay. What else can I even try to do? This one has seven. One, two, three, four. This one only has five. Time to go. Follow the wind. <laughs> Maybe if we switch it to clear skies. Anything up here? Find a way to open the path that Yakov took. Oh my god, what does it mean? We are only slightly perturbed. And it's been... I guess I haven't actually done anything in the 30 minutes that I've been playing. What do you think of the Sumeru characters that were totally not leaked beforehand? I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not looking at the drip marketing. I haven't watched the newest Sumeru teaser yet. You know what? You know what? We'll do it right now. Right now. Genshin Impact. What all is, what all is new? Oh, wait, what? What are these? Spark Knight Klee of the Knights of the Bonia reporting for duty. Hello, are you here for playtime with Klee? Da da da. I see. Gone you. Gone you. Shh. Very cool. I see we still have the same NPCs running around, jumping around. Ah, uh, yes. Yogurt. Yogurt.大聪神子所提供的情报。知识在虚弥是作为一种资源来被管理，而用来实现这一点的是由神之心所运作的由潜代草神大慈树王所留下的遗产，名为虚空的系统。还有一个很有趣的点是，在虚弥
Funky Mushroom Boys and a Chocobo? Oh boy, more human enemies that don't take a lot of knockback, I guess. Or interruption. Wait, 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 are those also ruin machines? Xiaohe 而随着旅行的继续，神秘少女纳西达还有大风纪官赛诺等角色也会依此登场。至此为止，旅行者的脚步终于将要抵达虚弥。不论是沿途的风景、风土人情，还是身边的旅伴，都将会是全新的体验。
I feel like scrubbing that would be kind of difficult. Can I talk to you for a hint? Well, he didn't give me a hint. Klee's mom wanted to torment you? <sighs> Fuck Alice. Okay, before we resort to cheating. Okay, before we stop. It's not cheating, just tactical research. Yeah, but I won't feel good about it. Wherever in this world I roam, I carry memories of my home. This blade. This is, is all the last link I have to the land of my birth. This is all the adventurer stuff. Look, it's it's me doing the exact same thing. That's amazing. This scenery is wonderful. Surely enough to convince anyone to become a wanderer. Wait, all of these have five in them. Hold up. We're gonna move that to the other screen for a second. See if I can't make that one. I cannot. Right? Yeah, no. No, that doesn't check out. Wherever in this world I roam, I carry memories of my home. Maybe that one? This blade. It is the last link I have to the land of my birth. That looks... fairly promising. Or does it? Maybe not? Well, let's just turn all of these off real quick. Okay, never mind. That also does not check out. Have I been stuck on this for that long?
Look for traces of the other group members. And then we're going to go talk to the man. Okay, what does he say? This scenery is wonderful. Surely enough to convince anyone to become a wanderer. Yeah, we already found it. Well, duh. This is me in the past playing the video game. Wherever in this world I roam, I carry memories of my home. This blade, it is the last link I have to the land of my birth. Wait, what? I'm gonna read this out loud so I can actually internalize this. I saw him walking into something really abnormal and disappear along with it. Whatever that abnormality was. What? Mechanized paths? What? <coughs> what is going on? There might be a way to reopen the way through them? This scenery is wonderful. Surely enough to convince anyone to become a wanderer. What? I'm just... My brain is working overtime. I'm getting tired. That's all I've got. I did not touch that. Clear weather all around brightens the heart.
Oh my god. Okay. It's it's been about a year now. I'm I'm over it. Find a way. Oh whoa, that's Oh whoa. Let the viewers know what you're thinking in that noggin. Nothing. Nothing's going through. Wherever in this world I roam. What? I carry memories of my home. This blade. It is the last link I have to the land of my birth. Huh? Is that the the swirl order? I don't... I don't know what you're referring to. I'm, I feel kind of dumb. This scenery is wonderful. Surely enough to convince anyone to become a wanderer. I just... I don't understand where that order comes from. I've already opened one portal. The priority of elements that are swirled? I didn't even know that was a thing. Okay. We're gonna reset this real quick. Wait, did it reset? Okay. So my order for the other side of this island is Pyro Animo Cryo Hydro. This one is Cryo Animo Pyro Hydro. It's like almost backwards, but Hydro is still on the bottom. I don't I don't follow at all. I never would have figured that out. That's good one. Real good one. We're slick with it. that change the portal follow the wind taking a stroll in the middle of a downpour certainly rouses the spirit but it's best to dry your clothes as soon as possible after the rain stops this is indeed time to go the same portal the wrong one in fact If I log out and log back in, will it go away? My mouse is gone. I'm dying over here. I have eventually figured out all of the other puzzles after they make me feel stupid. This one is just rouses the spirit. But it's best to dry your clothes as soon as possible after the rain stops.
This one just is not it, Chief. the heart I don't I'm gonna give that a zero He's just been chilling. That was it? Oh, no, it wasn't. I, this feeling I have in my, uh, in my gut, you know, looking up the solution after an hour, and also not figuring out the other puzzles. It's pretty dope. I like the feeling in my, in my stomach. Mirror Maiden Mommy? His favorite soup. It doesn't tell you anything, but I I figured it all out eventually. This one is a single exception that has made me exceedingly annoyed. The last Golden Apple Archipelago just had some puzzles. They were some hard puzzles, but they were good puzzles.
Yeah, good old fish. Where's her nose? She got no nose. Oops, okay. See, and then Paimon is just like, yo, look at this thing that we've been looking for the whole time. That's crazy. But it has potential. How do these guys remember where they threw theirs away? Yeah, I definitely know that that is Twinning Isle. I'm begging you. For this one time, please just put a mark on him. I don't want to... I don't want to, I don't want to look. I want to be baby gamer. Rearrange them. Give it back. No thinking, only put.
Oh my god, it's- it's the Traveler in Paimon. Was that it? The true puzzle was the friends we made along the way. I guess. I thought she was way taller than that. Not enough for a wish. Back to Mona's freaking island. I'm gonna figure out these puzzles. This isn't good. If the is that a double rainbow? It's gonna set us back a long way. Huh. I guess I was just seeing things. Okay, genuinely, though. Well, now it's just weird. I don't remember setting it up like this. Is there a chance that I've already solved this? Can you move them around afterward? I don't know. What are these even called? Star Guide. This is not. I have solved all of those by myself. That is... Why did I add... I added so many letters. But yeah, yeah! Precious chest will be a reward. So did I or didn't I... Did I not already solve it? Because, kid you not, that's what I've done already. Okay, good one, Kazuha. Time to go. Hey. Yeah. Wherever in this world I roam, I carry memories of. I've already home. done that. I've already done that. This blade. It is the last link I have to the land of my birth. I've already done that. 
I should have done that already. Huh? That's on the other one, right? It appears I've seen a solution that I did not want to see. But we do now know it anyway. It's what you get for cheating. You get spoiled on everything else. I don't want to use this team anymore. I want Klee. I want to play as Klee. I need some good vibes to go with my absolutely terrible vibes. Actually, while I'm at it, what was this called? Built Klee? No, no, no. Thank you, Polygon. This is really cool. I found it. Where to use it? I've already used it. Why do I still have it then? Don't keys usually just get used? But these bombs so heavy. She do be going crazy for the poopy artifacts that she has. Well, I guess they're not poopy, they're just not a part of the set. Yo, seriously? How do I make that? Just check out the angle on an edge. That doesn't seem right. No, I, that is not right. There we go. What's going on now? Uh... No? Might as well just take a picture. Take a pick, pick.
Not seems vaguely accurate. Yeah. Or did I... Have I already done this one? See, this is why... I elect... My strategy of doing literally everything in one or two days. I found one chest and I completed one quest using none of my own wits and tried to solve two puzzles that I've already solved. I'm going to cry. So, how about we just do the Inazuma quest? Right? How about that? Get a nice change of pace. Here. This Klee's burst work only for her. And it goes away once you switch off her Klee. That's lame. It seems like Noelle's the only character who can... Go Klee. Flailing at the water. Get it. Seems like Noelle's the only person who can keep her burst status outside of switching characters. A male lead. Oh, no. Outside, in the quiet countryside, in the verdant wilds of Narukami, Haru and Sasuno stand back to back, each speaking with their eyes closed. The wind is coming. Where from? Don't worry about where it's from. All you need to know is that it's coming for them. Where are they? That outlander? They're already walking the path to death. 
Sosno opens his eyes, then walks into the distance, holding Haru's hand. Outside in the quiet countryside, the Outlander and the two are besieged by the enemy. After escaping with great difficulty, they arrive in the countryside, wounded. The Outlander isn't bleeding. This won't do. If this continues, we won't have a chance against them. We'll have to sacrifice ourselves. The two rush out of frame. How did this happen? The Outlander wears a pained expression, but soon makes up their mind again. But I won't lose like this. Don't underestimate my resolve. The Outlander turns and walks back towards the enemy ranks as the screen fades to black. Outdoors, the enemy stronghold. After making up their mind, the Outlander cuts their way to the enemy stronghold. Don't worry about us. Hurry, go on without us. The Outlander spins around, continuously swinging their weapon. Through this endless rotation, this warrior becomes a golden whirlwind. The golden whirlwind covers each, every inch of the frame. Each enemy caught in the golden whirlwind's endless attack suffers pain immeasurably worse than that of a tooth decay. The golden whirlwind rapidly flings all enemies on screen into the distance, where they land hard on the ground. The Outlander finally reaches the imprisoned Sasano and Haru, freeing them. Hmm. It's a pretty dooky script. Flashy moves. Oh, I got this. Here comes the catch. Lament. To the fairy. Useless. Finally. Huh? To the fairy. Let me go. Everybody stand back. Yeah, nice. That was so epic. Genshin MCU going downhill. Damn. Dang. Goodbye. Make it a one man movie. It's all about me. There, there. It's okay. Ooh, you restaurant. That place isn't even worth mentioning. Okay. I'm gonna go... Two seconds. I need to go get my... Water bottle.
Whoa. Who is that? Me? No way. So now we make our way to Uyu Restaurant. That place that's not even worth mentioning. It's ruining the vibe. What? Sir? Your vibes were off at Applebee's. Oh, jeez. It's been a hot minute since I've been to Applebee's. And something tells me that I'll probably never go to an, uh, uh, an Applebee's ever again. I don't think there's a single person I know that would be like, Yeah, let's go to Applebee's. <laughs> you know, actually, now that I think about it, I think the last time I was at Applebee's was almost five years ago. And I'm pretty sure I had mac and cheese. You moved recently here, and everyone loves Applebee's? Hmm. I mean... I guess I've kind of got the same kind of situation over here. Everybody hates Applebee's here. And a decent amount of people hate Chili's. However, a 54th Street or a Buffalo Wild Wings, people will absolutely go feral for it. This man is very weird. Try flavored skewer. Ooh, tonkatsu ramen. Thank you. One of everything. It's a bit much. I could taste the lake in your rice and fish? Is that a real compliment? Yes. That is exactly how people from Fontaine talk. They're all fucking annoying. But Mona doesn't talk like that.
Om nom nom nom. Thank you, Paimon. I feel bad for not reading this. I don't know why I'm not. And to be frank, I've been silent for far too long to start now. Time to rewrite the whole script. Good luck, Xavier. You're gonna do great. Leave, ooh, you restaurant. Did he already rewrite it? Uh, sir? It's night time. He's going to do it in one day. <laughs> Wish time. Spiral Abyss didn't reset, did it? Oh, jeez. Oh, these guys are far away.
Wow, she was so desperate. My good sir. Wait until evening. I haven't seen you in so long. The cutest boy. I wish I could pet him. I am here. Oh my god. Can the dust settle before vengeance is had? Whoever's eavesdropping outside, come on in. It wasn't your adoptive parents who died. Points to the left. I've already... I've already forgotten my lines. Sorry I keep yawning. I'm also quite exhausted from work. Not that I work today, but I'm still tired from yesterday. Tornado, what's up? I am ready. Let's do the acting thing. It's been a while, Seishimaru. I've heard that you're in charge of the Kurutani clan's affairs now. Looks like the dust has settled since that incident. Lord and Lady Kurutani are gone, but you're taking up the mantle as their eldest son to continue to serve the public. I'm sure they would be most pleased. Can the dust settle before vengeance is had? You? You want to take revenge? We are not children anymore. How can you still be just as impulsive as you were back then? <sighs> With Lord Kurutani's abilities, the investigation never should have gone as wrong as it did. But he said himself that he was willing to accept the blame and punishment. The punishment from the great lords was indeed harsh. But... Lord Kurutani asked it for himself. I fear that there is still much left unsaid here. Kurutani and Wakayama are both reputable clans. You now carry the clan name. You are a samurai in service of the public. Not some wandering Nobushi Ronin. No matter how angry you are, you must be patient right now. You mustn't seek revenge. What's suspicious is some of the great lord's men. They've been mighty pleased with themselves since my father's death. That's your anger clouding your judgment. 
They didn't necessarily have anything to do with it. Calm down. Whoever's eavesdropping outside, come on in. Who are you? Who sent you to listen in on our conversation? My, my apologies, good samurai. I, I'm just a tea seller, and my name is Magico. Okay, I'm not actually going to talk like that. It wasn't my intention to eavesdrop. Seishimaru saved my life yesterday, and he didn't ask for rice or money. I just wanted to repay him and then go back to selling my tea. I didn't mean any, I didn't mean any offense, honest. You forget it. It's to be expected that a mere tea vendor wouldn't know proper etiquette. Still, I dress him as Master Kurotani from now on. You know what? This is quite opportune. The Kurotani plan the Kurotani clan needs people after all. Why don't you stop selling tea and go with Master Kurotani? I don't wish to call him Master Kurotani. Seishimaru has a better ring to it. Well, if I can get my fill of food, then sure, I'll follow him. Do whatever you like, Seishimaru. When Lord T Kurotani's gone, you're in charge of things now. Don't do anything foolish. If you let your temper get the better of you. Anyway, what's important is that your family name continues. It wasn't your adoptive parents who died. Seriously? Has anything I've said made it through that thick skull of yours? Let me ask you this. Will you really raise your blade against the great lord's men without a care for your clan? Do you really wish to bring shame to your lord and disaster upon your family? Oh, great. This is just great. So no one shall have peace until your rage dissipates, yes? Well... Since my efforts to persuade you otherwise have been ineffective, then let me give you the truth straight out. Now, I've been the head of the Wakayama clan since my, pa since my father passed away. He served as Lord Kurotani's executioner. I'm like reading ahead too fast, and I'm like putting the first sound of the next word onto the current word that I'm freaking reading. makes me feel uber dumb. I know very well that he wronged your family and did great harm to his name. And the execution was a matter of business, yes, but you're still my friend, and I still want to look after your family if at all possible. So, if you still want revenge, I fear I must say that my father is already dead. Well, come on then, punish me for his sins instead, I dare you. Or are you hesitating because we're friends? Is that the extent of your resolve? Really? You can't even cut ties with me? I was adopted anyway. The family name means nothing to me. Besides, is the good standing of the Kurotani name really more important than my parents' lives? Well, I'll show you my resolve. Draw your weapon. Put it and that Tamari over there on the table. I'll close my eyes until you've placed them. Then I'll extend a finger. If I point at your sword, then we must face each other in battle. If I point at the Tamari, then we will sever all the bonds that lie between us. Let's leave this all to fate. It looks like our destiny has been decided. My life shall be devoted to vengeance. There shall be no rest till one of us is dead. Since you've made up your mind, then I must man up as well. I'll carry everything I said before through to the end. I'll be waiting for you. Everyone did a great job. The effect was perfect this time. Mr. Sasuna's performance was full of power and conveyed the charisma of his character, Wakayama Keisuke. Um, Mr. Xavier... There's something I'm curious about. Can I ask you about it? Of course. Uh, I must say, Machiko was very lively and playful earlier, just as I'd envisioned. Wakayama Keisuke chose to let Seishimaru take revenge on him, and that's actually to make Seishimaru cool his temper, right? It was out of the goodness of his heart, so would it be better if this character sounded gentler? The current lines feel a little... cruel. 
I too considered making Keisuke a gentleman, but eventually I gave him this cold and stiff style. But you're right, the story should have another possibility. Hmm. Should I make more adjustments? Mr. Xavier, there's no need to doubt yourself. The reason I ask is that I don't understand why the script was written this way. I can sense that you are very talented in writing. Please continue what you were planning on doing. Thank you for saying that, Miss Koharu. And let's carry on. For the next scene, I'd like to go to Nazuchi Beach. Given the lighting of the location, it should be shot in the evening. Let's all get ready and start shooting the next scene in the evening. Arumaru! Who's a handsome doggy? You are. Oscar worthy? I don't think so. Being a voice actor sounds freaking cool as hell. I kind of doubt that I could do it though. Take it easy. I feel like even if I had a director to tell me what to do, I would not be able to show emotions very well. Because like... I don't know. If I'm not, like, in the mind of a character, it's just my speaking voice then. And it's, like, super monotone. Big stinky. Oh, absolutely. You know what the real dream is? I just want to be one throwaway Genshin NPC. What are the odds that these guys are real? This thing about shadows has nothing to do with us. Make payments and we're done. Just pay money and you can shoot shadows in this area. <laughs> Tanaka, you can't say that. Whether you can shoot the shadows well after paying depends entirely on Hifumi's mood. Friends, I've applied in advance to the Yashir Crow. Oh my god. This is why I can't. Friends, I've applied in advance to the Yashiro Commission. The filming is in full compliance with the Inazuman regulations. If you are willing, you can participate too. We happen to need a few more actors for the next scene. To be involved in the process of creating art is much more fun than money. Money is the only thing on their minds. Saying this stuff to them is useless. <laughs> Just when the shooting was finally going well, why did we have to run into these guys? Paimon's starting to feel sorry for them. Poor Mr. Xavier for running into unreasonable people. Paimon is saying that she feels sorry for these bad guys. Huh? Help us shoot the film, please? What are you talking about, you brat? Looking for a fight? Gotcha. Get shit on. This is not the first time I've seen you fight, but I still have to say that you're terrifying. Good thing we're friends. A hundred Xaviers wouldn't be a match for you. Don't worry. I'm more relieved then. 
The following scene requires you to channel the vigor of your fighting self. There aren't many lines for you in this scene, but you can still take a look at it. I'm not reading this. We will begin when you're ready. I'm ready. It's my lucky day. I'm going in. Evil conquering. Worthless. Here. Worthless. I can't see what's going on. Good. You said all your lines naturally and didn't make any mistakes. Wait, they left already? I added more lines for them. And even used the real names for the characters after obtaining their permission. Ignore those bullies. If it hadn't been for the Traveler, this scene wouldn't have been shot. Don't mention it. You're too modest. You delivered a smooth performance in that scene. Keep up this level and the next big scene will be no problem at all. Oh, yes. There is one more scene next. Yes, I thought about it yesterday when I wrote the script, and this last scene must be shot in a place with a cliff. The small island to the east of Narukami Island will be very suitable. Well, this next scene on location is the key to the whole script, and I want to use the glow of sunset as the backdrop. All of us have been shooting continuously for a long time, so we should take this time to rest. Let's meet tomorrow evening at the designated location. Oh wait, sunset. Yikes. My B. Or can we still make it? Probably not. The third act requires a little more from Mr. Sus... Mr. Sus... Mr. Sasano. This new character, Wakayama Kojiro, is Wakayama Keisuke's younger brother, and it is more appropriate to have Mr. Sasano play him. You told me before, and I'm mentally prepared. It's just... Remember to pull your punches for that second fight scene. Oh, yes, the script. I forgot to hand the script to the Traveler. Look at me. All I'm thinking about is how to shoot the next scene and I forgot to give you the script. I'm so sorry. I said the same thing once before. I really like you. Yeah, you're used to jumping off high places and stuff. But now that you're doing it before a film camera, you need to act more realistically. And if that gets you into an accident, Paimon guesses it wouldn't be worth it, huh? Paimon knows you're used to facing all sorts of danger, but you cannot think of yourself as an invincible person made of steel. Dear Miss Paimon, we do not need the Traveler to jump off a cliff here. He just needs to glide down the cliff using a wind glider. Don't worry. All right, if you say so, then go for it. Go! Go! So are you ready? I'm ready. Master Seishimaru, I found you someone from the Wakayama clan. But Master Keisuke is already gone. 
Please, let this all go. Hmm. So, Kurutani, you must have come for revenge on my brother? Now listen here. Keisuke worked himself to the bone day and night to settle the clan's affairs this entire year. And it was all because of your stupid agreement. So he's gone. You're a coward for placing sole blame on your father's executioner. And you won't get your revenge now, no matter how much you want it. You know why? It's because your father, our father's already gone. Kurutani, you didn't have what it took to avenge your adoptive parents. And you wound up hurting Keisuke, who tried to persuade you with good intentions. You don't deserve to be called a samurai. Keisuke once said that executioners must be prepared to suffer retaliation. If you can't even stomach that, then you can forget about charging into battle and taking the lives of others. Since Keisuke isn't here anymore. Then I, his younger brother, Wakiyama Kojiro, am willing to take his place. I'm sorry, I... It's too late for you to flee now. My brother died because of you, and I'll never forgive you. Or let you go. As long as you don't kill me, I'll devote my life to seeking revenge, and I won't rest until one of us is dead. I said the same thing once before. Well, it's fortunate that no one died. Just give it a rest, both of you. Look at this fuss you're both making. Clan this, revenge that. What about these vague notions? What about these vague notions is worth all that trouble anyway? I just sell tea. As long as I can eat my fill, I'm happy. I couldn't care less about what my last name is. I don't have much of a way with words, but rain falls into the lake. The lake water evaporates, and rain falls from the sky again. Even if that rain water freezes, it will become sweet tea if you heat it over a stove. Who cares whether the tea you were served came from the sky, the lake, or the pot? Um... This might sound like sophis sophistry? What? Hold up. Hold up. Sophistry. Sophistry? The use of fallacious arguments, especially with the intention of deceiving? Fallacious. Mistaken belief. So an incorrect argument? This looks like a political cartoon. Oh, it's not. It's just... Oh, no! I don't know how to use computers. Please help. But I'm telling you, you both... But I'm telling you both to stop this fighting now so you can go home to eat. Genshin Dictionary Challenge. It... Yeah. They do be throwing random words in there. Does your background change? It absolutely does. I think it changes every... Hour? Sounds about right. I have like a playlist of like, uh, I want to say 13 or 14 Genshin backgrounds. Huh? Why would you say that at a time like this? You're embarrassing me. Good grief. Well, I'll just assume you won't fight with Master Wakiyama anymore then. Turn back. He can't move right now anyway. Since my life is like rain and my death is like tea, both are like water. There is no point to clinging onto things like this. It's good that you think so. If rains from the heavens can save the earth from calamity, then surely I can too, right? My lord! Kurutani! Hmm. 
You extend your wings. Oh, how do I get back up there? It seems easy enough right here. Uh, just kidding. Can I make it up that? Thought I might have been able to, but nope. Oh. Hey, kind of forgot the whole mode of transportation through this place. I got a big brain. Perfect. This is the story I had in mind. Jaden, Mr. Sasano, and Miss Koharu, the performances you've contributed touched my heart. Thank you. Surely you're exaggerating. Yay! It's true, you two. The story has a perfect ending to me. I've been hoping to film a perfect swashbuckler film. And now I've realized this dream. What? What? Okay. It's one way to describe it. Now I can hold my chest up high and hand this film over to the Yashiro Commissioner. I feel very lucky to be part of this story too. Speaking of which, the story is really familiar. I keep feeling like I've heard it before. Have you heard about the Legend of Seishimaru? I heard about it only a while ago from the owner of Uyu Restaurant. Mr. Okazaki? In the story I heard, Seishimaru had the surname Kawasaki. Or was it Shimazaki? I can't really remember. It's okay, folklores usually have many versions. And the same can be said about legends of Fontaine and Sumeru too. What kind of legend does Sumeru have? Yeah, if Sumeru or Fontaine or even Natlin local legends were used as the source material, what sort of story would we have? It'd be a good idea to shoot a film in one of those places if I get the chance. Okay, time is running out. I have to finish and hurry. I have to hurry and finish the film, then send it to the Kamisato residence. Forgive me for not having the time to chat. I will write to you as soon as I have progress. Until we meet again. Oh, we are going all over the place. Please be voiced. Please be voiced. Literally begging. Klee is coming for the wine industry. It's been quite a long time. You're looking well as ever. Hi, Adeline! To what do we owe the honor today? Important business to discuss with Master Diluc, I presume? Grape juice, actually. That's right! Adeline, since we've run into you, maybe we could just get you to help us with this one. We always miss the winery's discount grape juice, so this time we decided to come here early. Can you reserve a bottle for us? We'll pay a deposit. Just name the price. Of course I can. And no deposit necessary. 
but I'm afraid you might be in for quite a wait. Dawn Winery's discount grape juice takes a long time to make. Every summer, Master D. Luke handpicks two barrels of the finest grapes to turn into juice. What? Why sell the good stuff at a low price? Shouldn't the best grapes be the most expensive? Master has never explained his reasoning. If I had to guess, the discount could be a marketing technique. Special deals always attract customers. Perhaps Master hopes to increase the popularity of fruit juice so that people have more options when it comes to drinking. It makes an ideal alternative for the heaviest drinkers because they won't get drunk and start causing mischief. At the same time, those who don't drink alcohol get the chance to try something new. It still doesn't sound like the most profitable venture. Master D. Luke isn't all about money. I think he would prefer to see people drinking in moderation than chase bigger profits at any cost. Imagine if everyone could just enjoy a nice glass of wine and have a good time while keeping their wits about them and not creating trouble for others. <laughs> now, wouldn't that be a miracle? Wow. Master D. Luke's such a thoughtful guy. So, is D. Luke picking out this year's grapes right now? Not just yet. He has a few more issues to sort out first. He'll start the process as soon as those are out of the way. If you're interested, I'm sure Master D. Luke would be delighted to see you and hear your thoughts. What issues? As you know, whenever Master D. Luke catches wind of any unsavory guests showing up in Mondstadt, he takes it upon himself to go and <clears throat> greet them in person. It's the same story today. He should be somewhere near Falcon Coast. I'm not sure how long he'll be. In the meantime, would you like to take a seat inside? I have to stay here and wait for some other guests, but Hilly and Mako will be glad to take care of you. Unsavory guests? What is that supposed to mean? Guessing it has something to do with D. Luke's part-time job. Huh? You mean the dark nah? The the uh, Batman? The dark and evil abyss order are up to no good again? In that case, Master D. Luke's our friend. We can't sit here and do nothing. If you're happy to help, that would be wonderful. Master trusts you after all, and you're both very capable. I know he'd appreciate a helping hand. No biggie! The sooner Master D. Luke is free, the sooner we can get a taste of that delicious grape juice. <laughs> Come on! Let's go to the Falcon Coast! Hey, why do we have the blood, the blood ley line? Is that a camp over there? D. Luke is camping out in the wild? Huh. This tent doesn't look like it belongs to D. Luke. Hmm. Maybe it's an adventurer camp. Oh, there's a piece of paper and a notebook over there. Let's read them. Judging by the tone, it seems like this was written by someone D-Luke knows well. Let's call him D-Luke's friend for now. He saw something bad happen, wrote a note for Master D-Luke, and then left. Huh. Isn't that pretty irresponsible? What if someone else had seen it? Also, he left his notebook behind. Mm. Now that Paimon thinks about it, you know that strange ley line deposit on the beach? Paimon bets that's the phenomenon he was talking about. Other than that, everything seems fine here. Not a monster in sight. Hmm. Do you want to read D. Luke's friend's notebook too? If not, let's head over and take a closer look at the ley line deposit. There are two notes here. Which one shall we start with? It's been years since the Ley Lines last released such highly aggressive... BITCH! Paima 
Mine didn't fall. There are two notes here. It's been years since the Ley Lines last released such highly aggressive monsters during an anomaly. The Dark Knight hero's timing was perfect. The way he lured the monsters a few at a time into the open to defeat them one by one. Quite the strategy. And then he pretended to be seriously injured, luring out the Abyss Order's main forces and then meeting them head on. A truly magnificent counterattack. Still, this plan involved too many uncertainties. The Dark Knight hero himself even said that he can't afford to take risks like this every time. Getting to the root of the problem and preventing these types of leyline disorders from happening is the safest approach. Paimon didn't follow all that. Uh, but it seemed to be about a previous battle Diluc was in? There are two notes here. Leylines hold many secrets. We ordinary people do not need to concern ourselves with the way they work. But since the Dark Knight hero will be fighting against, against the Abyss Order for the long term, it is in our best interest to gain a deeper understanding of them. I heard that the captain of the Knights of Favonis investigation team is a highly accomplished academic, but unlike Lisa, he's not especially close with the acting Grand Master. We should be able to learn a few things from him without the Knights of Favonius finding out. Perhaps the Dark Knight hero could ask him for input on the technical issues regarding the ley lines. I'll deliver the letter to his camp on the mountain. Huh. Sounds like it was talking about Albedo. Oh, did Diluc write a letter to Albedo? Kind of different than usual. Ah, oh, look at him go! So focused and full of energy! So this is Captain Pyro when he's in top form, huh? It must be Diluc from when he fought here in the past. Hey, you're right! Now that Paimon looks more closely, this Diluc does look younger than usual. But what happened back then? Why is he fighting you? Diluc, my beloved! Hmm. Guess we can just ask him about it when we see him. Hmm. What should we do now? Let's observe for now. Okay, let's see how young Diluc used to fight. The exact same. Oh shit. The fight is over. Diluc wiped the floor with them. Guess some things haven't changed. Um, so is there any actual danger here? It looks like it's only these illusions from the past. At most, there might be a few remnants left. So Diluc's already called it a day? Um, will more monsters come out if we go up to that weird ley line deposit again? And what about young Diluc? If it's like the other ley line deposits we've seen, then it should have disappeared now that all the monsters are defeated. So young Diluc's piqued your interest? Or have you suddenly developed an interest in ley line anomalies? No, no! <laughs> Paimon's just a little worried is all. What if someone passing by gets curious, comes to check it out, then suddenly, yeah, a monster jumps out and clubs him over the head with a swoosh and a smash? That would be terrible. Yeah. Because it sounds more dangerous that way. Anyway, we came here to help Dilu, didn't we? So let's stick around a little longer and make sure this place is completely safe before we head back. You've got a strong sense of responsibility. <laughs> Not really. Paimon just wants some fancy grape juice. Mm. Come 
then, let's finish what we came for. When we get the grape juice, you can have some of Paimon's half. Oh, I have to do all of them twice? You called? I can't wait any longer! Sounds good to me. I won't hold you- I didn't change the party. Why am I so stupid? Uh, bro moment. The birds come. Lament. Useless. That was irritating. different about dire straits Defeat two powerful opponents. Uh... Time Let's to try this. Ass. This is ass. Adorn my night. The wind knows so many regrets. Okay. Not using Ganyu. Or we can swap Ganyu out with Kazuha. Seems more reasonable. Might I shall be dispersed. Speak upon the will of every Genshin player in saying, fuck ruin enemies. Actually, just fuck every enemy. Long overdue. 
Oh, this one's not even... Bruh. To be honest, I don't think I can do this with Ganyu. This is no, no, we're not doing this again. Uh, let's just try the same team. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me too. Guys. Everybody stand back. Evil conquering. Rune Sentinels are you know what? I'm not bitching. I'm not bitching. This isn't even Spiral Abyss. I'm bitching. This is indeed irritating. <sighs> ruin cruiser, ruin destroyer, fuck all of them. So where's the energy recharge for fucking anything right now? Not even joking right now. Not even joking right now. Where is it at? Is not gonna be fun. All of that for four of those. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I get like five of these. 
from expeditions every day. You're not making a compelling argument for me. Let's see, cryo shit. This team's still fine. As one with wind and clouds. Everybody stand back. Lament. Worthless. Tear. Tear. Worthless. Worthless. Tear. Teamwork is dreamwork. At the frying pan, into the fire. Your fallen leaves adorn my night. Evil conquering. This one is... Oh. When a character triggers an electro reaction, the defense of opponents are decreased by 50%. Oh, you have to use electro for this. Hmm. Okay. I'm just going to switch out. Oh, I don't even know. Something's come up. I kind of want to do this. Didn't think there would be this many of each enemy. Time to go. The, wind knows me. To the, the pyro doesn't seem like a good choice. Speed of light. The clouds high. The birds call. One with nature. You're a genius, Kaching. Okay, that was kind of stinky. Yeah, I don't care about Dire Straits mode. Sorry about it. Literally just sorry, not sorry. You called? Fallen leaves adorn my night. The wind 
Hello? Play more characters. One attack from a claymore wielding character that deals damage will be counted as part of this effect every one second. Chongyun Gaming? Nah, my Chongyun's level 50. I don't know if that applies to charged attacks Leave it all to me as a good No, I switched to Goro, but we'll ignore that. Does not apply to charged attacks, but that's okay. He does more damage. I'm really not gonna bother with dire straits. That's literally just not fun. Oh, that was pretty stinky. Oh. Kazuha's story quest? Should I? Klee wants you to make a bomb. Look, look, there. In like 15 minutes, I'll have more of those crystals than one clear of the Dire Straits difficulty. Actually, I think I'm still drowning in that material. Yeah, I've got like enough to make one weapon level 90. What are you stuck on? At least Klee doesn't get stuck on everything. It's been a while since we first set foot on Inazuma. So many things have happened since then. Yeah, we've definitely made some progress on our journey. So, where should we go today? Huh? What's up? 
What in tarnation? So you don't have a vision after all. Seems like I've mistaken you for someone else. At the very least, you should make sure you've got the right person before you go attacking them. No, wait. Even when you've got the right person, you shouldn't go attacking them out of the blue. It's dangerous. Have you ever met someone by the name of Kaedahara Kazuha? He carries a sword just like you. I've also heard that he possesses an animal vision. That's none of your business. Never mind. You don't look like you know anything anyway. I'm wasting my time. See you later, Stinky. What the heck is this guy's problem? Coming around here, waving that weird sword in our faces, and he didn't even apologize. Seems like a real nutcase. Well, one thing's for sure. No way are we telling him anything about Kazuha. Right? Paimon has a feeling, though, that even if this guy gets to challenge Kazuha to a duel, he won't be able to beat him. Anyway, just to be on the safe side, we should go fight Kazuha right away and tell him to watch his back. Oh? What kind of hunch? A special connection? You mean, beyond already knowing each other? Hmm... Yeah... Maybe a little... Uh, but then again, most people look pretty much the same once they start fighting, so that doesn't really prove anything. Anyway, there's no time to lose. Let's go tell Kazuha so we won't get into any danger. Paimon heard that the Crux fleet is stocking up in Rito at the moment. Let's look for him there. Yeah, that weirdo used Kazuha's burst. Whack job. Hey! Uh, hello! Do you know where Kazuha is? <laughs> You're looking for Kazuha too, huh? Guess he must have done something impressive after all. <laughs> Well, we took the small vessels into Rito on a routine supply run, only this time, as soon as we entered the harbor, we ran into a huge crowd of Inazumans, all of them wanting to know about Kazuha. If it's because of that battle on Mizuchi Beach, Captain Beto had a great run there too, but I don't see her getting this kind of attention. Kazuha keeps to himself most of the time. In fact, there are times when he doesn't even listen to the captain, but she just laughs it off. <laughs> still don't know what he did. I've heard bits and pieces. Something about him blocking the Raiden Shogun's Muso no Hitotachi. Is it really as big a deal as everyone's making it out to be? Really? Wow. When you put it like that, it all makes sense. <laughs> In that case, his newfound stardom is well deserved. He was called away earlier by some people from the Tenryo Commission. They said they had something important to discuss with him. I thought they'd come to arrest him at first. Turns out they couldn't have been friendlier to him. Seems like they really respect the guy. Just a little while ago, this would have been completely unimaginable. Thank you. Guess we'll go pay a visit to the Tenryo Commission. All right, then. I'll just stay here and carry on trying to fend off the crowd. Oh, Tenryo Commission Headquarters. Not in Rito.
Hello, my good sir. Oh, it's you. Greetings. We were just discussing the repealing of the Vision Hunt decree. Since you're here, you're very welcome to listen in on the conversation. We invited Mr. Kaidahara here to extend a gesture of goodwill on behalf of the Shogunate. Your hard work has secured for us the agreeable state of affairs that we now enjoy. Also, I've been granted the chance to correct my clan's past mistakes, and for that, I'm deeply grateful. The Almighty Shogun has issued a large array of directives aimed at resolving, or at least easing, the tensions that have built up over the years. The Tri-Commission has made the recommendation to use this opportunity to restore the honor of the Kaidahara name. Regarding the history of the Kaidahara clan, I trust that you're already somewhat informed? In short, there was once a group of select bladesmiths who served the Shogun directly, responsible for upholding and further developing the traditional blade-forging arts of the Almighty Shogun. The Kaidahara clan belonged to this class. But there came a time when some of these bladesmiths revolted and fled to Snezhnaya. Both the Kaidahara and Kamisato clans were held accountable for lax oversight and entered a period of great turmoil. We later learned that the whole misadventure had been secretly orchestrated by the Fatui. Attributing all of the blame to the Kamisato and Kaidahara clans was neither proper nor just. Considering Mr. Kaidahara has once more made an outstanding contribution to Inazuma, the Almighty Shogun believes he should not only be rewarded for his achievements, but also receive recompense for the excessive punishment borne by his clan in the past. In the interest of preventing further harassment of the bladesmith clans by the Fatui, we chose not to publicly release the findings of our investigations into these matters. We trust you can understand why this was necessary. This is a true honor. I am delighted to be in a position to receive the goodwill of the Almighty Shogun, and the Shogunate at large. However, would I be correct to assume that this magnanimous gesture does not come without some strings attached? I can assure you that nothing could be further from the truth. We seek only to correct a past injustice. With the Kaidahara clan's reputation and occupation restored, the Kaidaharas will be bladesmiths once more, and your wanderings will finally come to an end. You will be able to lead a safe and prosperous life in Inazuma City with the Almighty Shogun's blessing and full support of the Shogunate. I have grown accustomed to life among the elements. I fear I would no longer feel at home behind the tall walls of a stately abode. Yet my ancestors did indeed take great pride in the name of Kaidahara, and the art of blade making for which it stood. I do have a responsibility to restore their honor. I sense some hesitation in your words. Should you accept this offer, I imagine many of the malicious rumors currently circulating through the populace will disappear. Malicious rumors? All we heard on the way here was so much praise that we almost wondered whether there was another Kaidahara Kazuha in town. Well, to some, the Musa no Hitotachi is something that can never be defeated. They cannot accept the idea that Mr. Kaidahara really parried the Shogun's strike. Also, eyewitnesses saw him using the power of Electro in addition to that of Animo. As a result, the falsehood that Kaidahara Kazuha was using a delusion began to spread. What? But that doesn't make sense. Using a delusion turns you old and frail, and Kazuha still looks fine. That is correct. However, to some people, the idea of a single person wielding two elements at once is a more inconceivable notion still. This is just one of many similar rumors. I am very uncomfortable with being the subject of public discussion, no matter whether it brings suspicion or stardom my way. But perhaps if the Shogunate is willing to publicly support me, this situation will blow over more quickly. This is precisely why I encourage you to give our offer some serious thought. It stands to benefit all of us. Hmm. Please allow me some time to consider. In fact, let us put this discussion on hold for the moment. Well then, what brings the two of you here? Yikes! We nearly forgot about the most important thing! Why would such a dangerous individual be looking for me? No, this puzzles me as much as it does you. My fighting forms were taught to me by my family. 
based on techniques originally developed for blade testing. We undergo rigorous training to standardize every motion the blade is put through so that each can be fairly assessed for quality. Over time, these techniques came to form something of a Kaidahara sword art, focused on blade testing, but with a full repertoire of combat forms. Those forms are quite different from the more practical ones typically used by samurai in battle. So it's hard to imagine that the similarity you speak of was coincidence alone. All the more reason to watch your back! This guy was a serious nutcase. Indeed. He sounds highly aggressive. Anyone he targets is at risk of serious injury. Or worse. In that case, I will send some men out immediately to search for him. Thank you. I must say, I am now very curious about this matter. And I will also need some time to consider your offer. I will first join the Traveler in investigating the one who attacked him. Then give you a conclusive answer upon my return. Very well. Uh, please stay safe. Come on. Let's go and track down your aggressor. The detective agency knows the most about what goes on in town. Let's see what Ryuji has to say. Gotta go. Have a good stream. Well, thank you for stopping by, Sleepy. It was wonderful having you here, as always. This is the renowned Mr. Kaidehara. I've heard a lot about you. It is an honor to finally meet you today. You are too kind. We are currently investigating an assault and would appreciate any help you can offer. Oh? You were targeted in an assault? Let me think. I can't seem to recall anything of immediate interest. Mr. Kaidehara is currently the talk of the town, so there are always a lot of people looking for him. To be honest with you, our detective agency has recently been receiving many inquiries from people wishing to obtain Mr. Kaidehara's personal information. Some of them were offering us millions of mora just to gather the information they want. If these were more legitimate commissions, Songo would have snapped them up in an instant. M m millions Of mora? Whoa! Oh, wait, even at that price, you probably still shouldn't. Please. Accept my thanks for looking out for my privacy. Of course. No matter what, we only take on legitimate cases. We don't make our money by revealing details of other people's day-to-day -day life just for the sake of it. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a little off topic. What I'm really trying to say is, it doesn't surprise me that a complete stranger is looking for Mr. Kaedehara. But I wouldn't know where to begin if we want to connect this with an assault. Then let's put that connection aside for now. Have there been any other attacks or similar incidents recently that stand out as particularly unusual? The Tenryo Commission had very few leads. I thought you might have some information from different sources. It's true that the commissioners aren't clued up about every little thing that goes on out in the streets. But typically, it's only the most trivial events that manage to escape their attention. If anyone had been out there attacking people, that would be assault, in which case the Tenryo Commission would absolutely get involved. Uh, that does make sense. Uh-oh. Looks like the trail's already run cold. I still find it difficult to believe that whoever attacked you hasn't been causing any trouble elsewhere. Few people possess your prowess in battle. So unless you were the first person he targeted, Someone is certain to have been hurt by now. I am well aware of your talents. There is no need to be humble around me. 
In fact, I'm quite relieved that you were the one he targeted. It would cause me great grief to see someone become critically injured or lose their life because of me. For the poor victim, this would be a completely senseless crime. Don't worry, we'll find him. It seems you are every bit the selfless hero they make you out to be, Mr. Kaidehara. Surely this same concern for your fellow man is what drove you to fearlessly raise your blade against the almighty Shogun. You flatter me. Truth be told, I don't know quite what came over me in that moment. <laughs> you are much too humble. Don't worry, I completely understand your concerns. I will try my best to gather whatever leads I can for you. Oh, actually, there was one strange incident over the last few days. It doesn't involve an attack, though. Let me tell you about it just in case. Sure. During times like this, the more information we have, the better. All right, then. Recently, two people went missing from the city at around the same time. One of them is a pretty well-known collector, surnamed Nagato. The other, Amenoma Yuya, is a samurai from the Amenoma clan. Amenoma? Now there's a familiar name! Blacksmith boy! Yuya is the nephew of Amenoma Togo, the owner of Amenoma Smith. Two grown men going missing at the same time. Hmm. Their cases are likely connected, but I don't know much in the way of details. I recalled this because Amenoma Yuya is also an accomplished martial artist who is skilled with the blade. Perhaps he is the one you are looking for. Understood, though it seems highly unlikely to me. I neither know this man, nor do I have any idea why he may wish to attack me. Sure, can't hurt. We never know what we might find out along the way. Thank you, Ryuji. We'll start by making some inquiries at the Amenoma Smithy. Sounds good. All the best with your investigation. I'll get moving shortly myself. Hi, good sir. Ah, oh, if it isn't Kaidehara Kazuha. What brings you here today? Huh? You two know each other? Yes, the Kaedahara and Amenoma clans were both members of the Raiden Gokaden. Historically, there have always been deep links between the two clans. After I returned to Inazuma, I visited Mr. Amenoma to pay my respects. Yes, you may recall the story of the Raiden Gokaden from the Iridori Festival. Though all bladesmiths trace their craft back to the same source, over time, each of us has arrived at a different blade-making philosophy, spawning the development of different branches of the same art. As an example, the Amenoma art strives to emulate the abiding patience and determination of water as it turns stone to sand. There is nothing mystical to our work. There is only practice, day in and day out. Until both body and mind have memorized the craft, turning each motion of every technique into an intrinsic part of the bladesmith's life. As for the art of the Kaidehara clan, I believe it's called the Ishin art. That's right. Ishin art strives for complete harmony between blade and mind from the moment that forging begins. For only a blade thus forged can capture and convey its maker's thoughts and feelings, and eventually become an extension of its wielder's will. Indeed. Most samurai choose their blades, but an Ishin blade chooses its owner. You are, without a doubt, the most worthy wielder of an Ishin blade. It gladdens my heart to see that although the Kaidahara clan has fallen on hard times, its ideals and virtues are alive and well. You overestimate me. My actions are guided by my own personal sentiments, not by any noble aspirations on behalf of my clan. But let's get back on topic. The purpose of our visit today is to gather some information on your missing nephew. 
We hope to assist with the investigation. It may turn out that this case is connected to another we are pursuing. Ah, oh, yes. My nephew. <sighs> I reported the case to the Tenryo Commission, but I haven't heard anything back so far. He didn't say a word before he left, which is very unlike him. I'm still completely at a loss on what to make of it, but I've done what I can so far. Worrying is futile. All I can do now is wait for the news from the Tenryo Commission. We heard that there was a collector involved in the disappearance, too. Know anything about that? Yes. On the morning that Yuya went missing, he gave me a very cryptic look and said that he was going to give me a great gift. I believe he went to collect the item from Mr. Nagato after that. The next thing I heard was that a fire had broken out at the warehouse. And neither of them came back. Yes. Strange, isn't it? I wonder what could have caused it. Unfortunately, there was very little evidence left behind, so nobody knows what really happened. Hmm. Do you have any thoughts on what Yuya may have wanted to give you? If I had to guess, it must have been some kind of rare weapon. Otherwise, there would have been no reason for him to get my hopes up. He's never been particularly interested in blade forging, but has always had a fondness for blade testing, and can sense even the most minute differences in blade quality. He is extraordinarily talented in martial arts, particularly when it comes to the art of the sword. Truth be told, we have some information that you may find to be objectionable. The person we are looking for, he attacked this friend of mine. Based on the evidence we have gathered so far, only Yuya seems to match the suspect's profile. What? No. Absolutely impossible. Yuya is not that kind of person. He is humble and kind. Even his training is done with the goal of calming his mind. He has never gotten into a fight before. Huh. Is that so? Yes. If there's one thing I can say for certain, it's that Yuya would never draw his blade without a very good reason. But, with that said, it's equally out of character for him to just disappear with neither farewell nor fair warning. I also cannot know what course of action he might be capable of if coerced or otherwise compelled by circumstances unbeknownst to me. Anyway, should you find him, Please let me know as soon as possible. Don't worry. You have our word. Hmm. From the sound of that, Paimon doesn't think Yuya was the one who attacked us as well. Yes. It sounds as if something happened when the two men met each other. Let's pay a visit to the Nagato household. This is a weird way to go up. Sorry, but we cannot afford to pay what we owe right now. My husband has gone missing, and I'm still trying to find him. No, no, you misunderstand us. We are here to help with the investigation. We'd like to ask you some questions about Mr. Nagato's disappearance, if we may. Ah, I see. Takaru, what's up? I thought the debt collectors had come to visit again. I'm sorry you have to see me in this dreadful state. Has some new information come out? Do you know where he's gone? Hey, that's okay. I'm afraid we don't have any new information at the moment. You, uh, you did not witness. You missed. 
witnessing Lucas my Mark, embarrassing display. Can we perhaps ask some questions about your family's current situation? The first hour of the stream was figuring out where I left off, and then I tried to solve two puzzles that I apparently already solved. And for Deluxe event, I did Dire Straits, which is the hardest difficulty on one of them, and then I said, nope, not worth it. It was just not that fun for me. Paimon's struggling to understand why a collector would be strapped for Mora. <sighs> That's a long story. Ever since I've known him, he's been an avid collector of all sorts of things. He'd always get so animated when he was showing them to me. I knew nothing about the items myself, but seeing how enthusiastic and excited they made him, I was happy to believe that they were just extremely important to him everything was fine when we first got married but as time went by things changed for the worse uh oh what happened he lost his sense of restraint he started buying more and more things and even resorted to borrowing money just so he could pay for them you think it was easy i was getting frustrated on the first one just because it had uh, the, the ruined enemy that looks like a freaking Dorito, a 3D Dorito. When they move away, that annoys me enough. Most of the ruined enemies have invincibility frames that should not exist. Just like the Bishop Hatchlings, I think they're called. Um, and you get elemental energy from hitting certain thresholds on enemies HP. So them being boosted up to like level 95 or something means that they're hella tanky. My dream team for Spiral Abyss could not handle it. I was stuck there switching between characters that had their cooldowns on still and none of them ever had their burst. It was very frustrating. Our expenses really spiraled out of control when he started getting interested in weapons. It was awful. There were days when he'd spend hours down at the warehouse, admiring his weapons even as debt collectors were descending upon our house. He wouldn't sell them, wouldn't even touch them. Just sat there staring at them like he was in a trance. I'm happy he has a hobby and I'm willing to support him. But making ends meet has to come first. I've tried talking to him about it so many times, but he never listens. Once we're done with this cutscene, I'll go back to the first one or do the second one, show you what I mean. On the last day that I saw him, I gave him an ultimatum. I said, if he refused to sell his collectibles and pay off his debts, I would divorce him and take the children with me. Whoa! And that led to an argument. Actually, it didn't. Generally, He's a quiet man, who likes to go with the flow. On most things, he leaves the decision-making to me. You must understand, I never would have dreamed of threatening him with divorce if the debts hadn't pushed our family to the brink. After I said those words, he froze, and was silent for a long time. When he finally spoke, he awkwardly mumbled that he would pick out a few items to sell. His voice was so meek and pitiful that... I felt an urge to take everything back. But then what? If I didn't draw the line, what would happen to our family? Had I not indulged his bad habits, we wouldn't have found ourselves in such a predicament. And I also don't know if he had actually come to his senses, or if he was simply angry with me. The next thing I heard was that our warehouse had caught fire, and both he and the buyer had gone missing. I see. I understand. Amin Omiyuya came to purchase a weapon from Mr. Nagato. During the sale, a fire broke out at the warehouse, and both men disappeared. At first, I assumed they must have gotten into an argument over the price. But my husband has never been one to negotiate. He never even haggles when he's out buying groceries, so it's hard to imagine him getting into a fierce argument. Maybe he was feeling the pressure from the debts? I don't know. He just disappeared after the warehouse burned down. 
Perhaps he's too afraid to come home, now that all his collectibles have been lost in the fire, and he's got no way to pay off our debts. <sighs> Even though I'm still a little mad at him, we're a family, and I want us to face our family's crisis together. As long as he's willing to turn over a new leaf, I know we can work things out. Please don't get upset. There could be more to this situation than meets the eye. If collecting things is a habit that Mr. Nagato had his whole life, it is quite unusual for this habit to change so drastically over a short period. But the information we gathered from the other side suggests Amenoma Yuya is also a mild-mannered man who would not be likely to start an argument. Hmm. This situation is getting a little confusing. A little confusing? More like completely mystifying! Let's try a change of scenery, and see if we can piece together what we've learned. Rest assured, we'll notify you if we find anything. <sighs> Thank you so much. I just want him to come home. All right. No! Based on the information we've gathered so far, I can only surmise that the sales meeting between the two men was somehow the catalyst for their disappearance. And the fire at the warehouse likely played a part in how the situation unfolded. This is Kazuha's exact story quest. It's a mystery. Do you have any thoughts? Uh, um, well, Paina was thinking that maybe someone accidentally knocked over an oil lamp and, um,. Nope, never mind. Paimon's brain needs to rest for a while. Over to you. An interesting explanation. I was also considering this possibility. Amenoma Yuya is an expert on swords. He could have noticed some problematic details about Mr. Nagato's collectibles. Maybe he recognized a blade as a fake, or a well-known stolen item. Either way, after arguing about it, the two men agreed to hide the truth of this matter. They thought a fire would destroy everything. But then the Tenryo Commission began investigating and uncovered some incriminating details, so they fled to protect their secrets. That is a lot of assumptions. But it's a far-fetched theory. I can't imagine how they would have been able to reach an agreement. One fact that I keep coming back to is that Amenoma Yuya is polite and well-mannered while Mr. Nagato is introverted and passive. Neither seems like the type of person who is inclined towards initiating conflict. Mr. Nagato, being heavily in debt, is also the only one of them with the potential motive to disappear after the fire. The more I ponder it, the more puzzling it becomes. Just what could have happened there? Right. Although the time frame seems to broadly match, no other details that we've learned seem to link the two events together. Amenoma Yuya lacks a key distinguishing feature of the attacker. Namely, that he is principally a practitioner of the blade testing techniques of Amenoma art, not those of the combat oriented Ishin art. Darn! We thought we could get two birds with one stone here, but at this rate, it's starting to look like a wild goose chase. Hmm. <laughs> Let's keep going, since we've come this far. If we can solve the case, both Mr. Amenoma and Mrs. Nagato will be able to get some closure. Okay, but where should we go now? Let's head out of the city and check out the warehouse. There's still a chance we may be able to find some shreds of evidence. Yeah! Okay. That was long. See, yeah. It doesn't make any sense. Burst damage is increased, but I don't know how that affects some of my characters. But they restore three energy every two seconds. It doesn't make sense for me to struggle with this. 
This is the team that I was using. We'll just do it again. Like they are all stupidly tanky. And now I'm stuck without my bursts. All of them. Even though, in any other context, it wouldn't be a problem to get my burst at all. Like I said, this is my literal go-to team for Spiral Abyss, and I have that problem with other teams in there, but Spiral Abyss also has enemies going to level 100. I wasn't even looking anymore. I know I only need to kill the big guys. But the way to get energy is by taking down other enemies' health bars. Because the reactions clearly aren't enough. Anyway, I'm gonna go revive the boy. I'll try the same team with the Animo one. See if it's any more frustrating, I guess. I just don't think... No, I haven't. I don't know if I even have the energy to do it today. Here it is. One teeth of my hammer. I know it resets tomorrow. That's why I'm like... I would feel bad if I didn't do it today, but... If I had more free time on my hands like I did before, I'd be like, Oh yeah, dude, totally. Let's just do it. Mr. Patui agent? Oh, just another wave. Fallen leaves. Adorn my knights. One with nature. Everybody stand back. You're toast. Evil conquering. Care. Worthless. Worthless. Care. Worthless. Care. Ma'am? I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't planning on going actually hard, which is why you're not dead. But sheesh, did it have to take that long?
But yeah, all that trouble for four crystals. This one wasn't really that good for Ito. He doesn't attack any faster. I should not use Noel for this. Everyone on me. It's Steady as stone. Time to clean up. Using my burst on enemies I don't need to kill. Who wants some of this? Let's roll. So enemy priority was what you're saying. To start, you need to complete the challenge in order to spawn the powerful enemies. Yeah. And then it's just defeating the powerful enemies after that. Geo was not it for this. <laughs> but yeah, I don't really... And not all attacks count for some reason. It's all a little baffling to me. The higher echelon of difficulty in this game doesn't Wait. always sit right with me. I hear something ominous in the wind. Oh! This must be another one of those sounds that only you can hear. As sketchy as that whole thing seems, you did put it to good use when we were chasing down that vision thief at Beto's tournament, so... Hmm. Now I'm picking up a strong scent in addition to the sound. It's right around here somewhere. Also don't like that they're putting event information in passing on these. There's no context and it makes it confusing it's for anybody now, who wasn't there for them. But I can still sense the direction it left in. It felt very much like that ancient presence in Inazuma. The remnants of the Tatarigami. Indeed. But this unexpected spring of inauspicious energy may prove to be of benefit to our investigation. We should remain vigilant and approach slowly. Aha! Uh -huh. So it's an underground warehouse. The force is definitely coming from down below. The source of the Tatarigami energy has long since left this place. But the residue it left behind still hasn't dissipated completely. So you can just do a first normal attack cancel so it goes by faster. And you'll have more time and energy for the powerful enemies. Judging from the concentration, I would have to conclude that the Tatarigami source resided here for a very long time. 
Mrs. Nagato said her husband used to hang around the warehouse by himself a lot. It could well be that he was already under the influence of Tatarigami energy at that time. From what I've been told, Tatarigami does not turn all upon whom it preys into violent monsters. But most will develop a stubborn streak upon being exposed to the Tatarigami's unfulfilled will. Their interests become fanatical obsessions. Mr. Nagato had an interest in collecting to begin with. The influence of Tatarigami could explain why he became an obsessive hoarder, amassing more and more possessions, even as he put himself in grave debt. Um, so what should we do now? Go down and take a look? Step back. I'll open the door and take a look inside. If we don't open this door, we can move no closer to the truth. You needn't worry. Both of us have faced far greater dangers than this. Relatively speaking, the risk here is trivial. Huh. Hmm. What's down there? Everything's buried in debris. I can't see anything. It looks like the fire caused a cave-in, reducing the entire warehouse to rubble. That was too scary! Paimon was so sure that the warehouse boogeyman was about to jump out at us! All we can do now is keep searching in the direction that the Tatarigami energy source left this place. Two ordinary humans, entangled with the Tatarigami. I fear much misfortune has already befallen them. Yes, let's go. If nothing else, it's vital that we find out where this Tatarigami energy is coming from. Quiet your mind and focus on what you sense around you. Perhaps you too will perceive its ominous presence in the wind. Let me look around. Oh, it's just gonna. We got some black musk. Or is it. Am I going backwards? Oh, it just trails off. Okay. From this point, the trail appears to split into two. The main source of the Tatarigami energy continued on into the distance, but a small portion remained here and seems to be dissipating slowly. <laughs> Quite possibly. Let's search the area. Whoa! Look at all those silly turtles! They're acting really strangely! Something seems to be drawing their attention. Let's take a closer look. Jesus. Gotcha. Wait, does that count the ones... The one down here? of it a letter written on a piece of torn clothing the ink is bone dry it must have been written quite some time ago well let's take a look i am nagato i was wounded by ame no Yuya. he took my most precious blade i chased him but i could not catch him i lay down here to rest on account of my exhaustion I thought that I might croak right here. My stomach kept on bleeding. But it seems that some strange power has sustained me. Why did he steal that blade? I was going to sell it to him. He even burned down my warehouse. 
it hurts. It hurts. But for some reason, I can't fall unconscious. So all that I can do to distract from pain is right. What will happen to Sachiko, Yuichi, and Yuji? I'm sorry to them. I really am. Only now do I realize how stuck in my ways I was, and how blind to my obsession. I must have been cursed. I collected all these strange and bizarre things, but they won me not one iota of happiness or warmth. Put all of it together, and it still wouldn't have been worth a single word from her mouth. Thank you. Sorry for letting you down, Sachiko. Mm -hmm. According to this letter, a conflict arose because Aminoma Yuya wanted to seize a blade belonging to Mr. Nagato. Yuya started the fire that destroyed the warehouse and wounded Mr. Nagato in the fight. Mr. Nagato kept chase as long as he could, eventually stopping here to write this letter when his strength gave out. So, where is he? He was not only mortally wounded, but also under the heavy influence of Tatarigami. Add to that the fact that its aura seems to have attracted a horde of monsters and... I'm afraid he may no longer be with us. Whatever traces there may have been of his fate beyond after this point, they've since been disturbed by the hilly churls. There's nothing more for us to find here. Yes, right now we need to uncover some more important truths. If Aminoma Yuya is attacking other people indiscriminately, then the longer we take to find him, the more people risk meeting the same tragic end. Right! So let's get moving! I wouldn't be surprised if he, too, fell prey to the influence of the Tatarigami. For a practitioner of the martial arts, the easiest desire to inflame would be their pursuit of further power and skill. All the clues that at first seemed disparate and disconnected. It seems that now we know the thread that runs between them. I have a hypothesis that, if it's correct, not only explains the series of events leading to the two men's disappearance, but also zeroes in on the attacker's identity. Wait, you figured it out? So these two cases are connected after all? I believe so. But it's something of an outlandish idea. I will only be able to confirm my suspicions once we've met him in person. On with the search. We must stay vigilant. At any point now, we may find ourselves in danger. Uh. Follow the musk. Who designs these? The wind hoops. They're never good. Hmm. He seems to have stayed here for a long time. Why here? Is there anything special about this place? I'm not sure. But on closer examination, I sense that the aura may have lingered here at several different points in time. Show yourself. It's no use hiding anymore. Hmm. Is it the Stink Lord? Kaede Harakazua. It's you, at last. Aha! So it is the same guy from before. What's your problem, huh? What could you possibly have against Kazua? Indeed, there should be no enmity between us. If it is Amenoma Yuya that stands before us. But what if instead of facing Amenoma Yuya, we are in fact facing the blade in his hand? Now that you mention it, it is giving off a strange light. Whoa, whoa! Surely you don't mean. Are you serious? Tatarigami energy often lodges itself within physical objects, then works to subtly affect any living organisms in its vicinity. The blade has resided in Mr. Nagato's warehouse for many years, affecting his state of mind, and more recently using the sail as a means to affect, or rather, as a means to occupy Amenoma Yuya's body. Hmm. You're sharper than I thought. 
You've already deduced the truth of the matter. Many, many years ago, I was forged by a famed bladesmith of the Ishin tradition. I was his pride and joy. In me, he placed all his hopes and dreams. As a descendant of the Kaidehara clan, you should be able to guess our greatest regret. I presume it has something to do with the Raiden Gokaden. Indeed. At that point in time, he failed to live up to the Raiden Shogun's expectations. In the end, all he could do was to flee the nation by sea on a ship bound for Snezhnaya. He was a bladesmith of great renown, a master of his craft. There was nothing that he could not accomplish. All he needed was more time and a little faith. And sure enough, in the end, he achieved what he had set out to do. All of his life's work, his wisdom, his skill, it culminated in his creation of me. He not only bestowed upon me the greatest of strength, but also endowed me with a consciousness of my own. Now the swords can talk. Absolutely. Seat, this is crazy. The Shogun lost not only the single most perfect blade in the entire world, but also an irreplaceable achievement in the art of blade forging. So, swords can become conscious and control people? The people of the time in which I was born never believed I had that kind of power. They saw me as a mere blade, a sharp and well-crafted one, but in all other respects, an ordinary weapon. Hmm. But that gave me the opportunity to take action. After the death of my creator, I decided to leave Snezhnaya and began my long quest to return to the distant land of Inazuma. Moving from one person to the next, I controlled the minds of countless hosts along the way, each bringing me one step closer to my ancestral home. I seek but one thing, to face the full force of the Raiden Shogun's blade and prove my power. The might of Isin art! Ah, so Amenoma Yuya was not your first victim. Tell me, what happens to those you've possessed when you've finished using them? My hosts? Who cares what happens to them? They are but tools that serve my mission. When they got tired, or injured, or unusable, I hopped to the next one in line. All I needed them for was to take me back to Inazuma. You're awful! After I returned to Inazuma, I decided to bide my time in Nagato's warehouse until Amenoma Yuya handed himself over to me on a silver platter. At long last, I'm approaching my journey's destination. By Amenoma Yuya's body, I have found you. And by your hand, I shall defeat the Raiden Shogun! Kaidehara Kazuha! You stood against the Raiden Shogun's Muso no Hitotachi. There can be no other to serve as my host for what is to come. Now, give your body over to me! Hmm, stinky. Here comes the catch. Everybody stand! Evil conquering! <laughs> Stink Lord. Not stand in my way, or I will strike you down too. You already lost. Left fooling no one. You've lost. Lost. I can never lose. It is this body that has reached its limit. Nothing more. Even if you defeat me here, the one who falls will not be me, but this man. He is but a puppet that can be replaced. I can take a new vessel at will. The end result is the same. I will end this wretch's life before you can lift a finger. And even if I were to lose my physical form, it is but a small setback. My consciousness shall endure. By any means necessary and any medium available, I shall return and fulfill my destiny. Your fighting style. It is indeed the forms of Ishin art. But from your movements, I sense only hatred and arrogance. 
as well as a thinly veiled mania and despair. Really? You can tell all that just from his moves? As I've mentioned before, the forms of Ishin art convey the user's thoughts and feelings. Since the blade is currently possessing Aminoma Yuya's body, its movements express the innermost thoughts of the blade. If you ask me, the mania is probably due to your desperate, single-minded ambition. You believe I am your only hope. Are you trying to claim that I am helpless without you? On his deathbed, he passed to me all of Ishin Art's secrets. The little that you know barely scratches the surface. In that regard, why would I ever need your help? Because all of that is in the past. I've been wondering why you've not caused more trouble in all the years that you've been in Inazuma. If you are indeed a cursed blade that can possess its owner. Now that I've seen inside your mind, everything finally makes sense. You weren't biding your time. You were trapped. Hmm. After all the time that's passed, you have grown weak. To the point that you are now unable to acquire a new host without making physical contact. Oh, that's right. Paimon remembers now. Mr. Nagato had a habit of never touching his collectibles. Only when Mr. Nagato witnessed his wife's distress and decided to sell his collectibles, did you finally have an opportunity to reach out to Aminoma Yuya and make your escape. And what of it? Well... That brings me to my second point. There's a despair in you that is so strong, it threatens to overwhelm you. You were determined to fulfill your maker's ambition, whatever the cost. But this ambition is too grand and too heavy for you to bear. Each step you have taken has come at a great cost. I think you realized your limitations long ago. The more you clenched your teeth and pressed forward, the greater your fear of losing everything you had achieved grew, and the more you wished to run from the truth. But the way I see it, what began as an ambition has long since become a delusional fantasy. What would you know about any of this? I'm just one step away from achieving my goal! You returned to Inazuma to prove the unparalleled brilliance of Ishin art. But to make this arduous journey, you committed countless atrocities and showed a blatant disregard for human life. Even if you were to sever that divine light, is this truly the outcome that your maker would have desired? You... Sure, you inherited the secrets of Ishin art. But even as you made your journey to honor this legacy, you treated the ones who wielded you as mere tools to do your bidding. How could you possibly unleash the full potential of Ishin art when you act in perfect discordance with the principle of harmony between a blade and its bearer? Silence, you blabbering fool! I must achieve my goal. This was his life's dream, and the very purpose for which I was brought into being! I will concede that you are most perceptive. You see my predicament clearly. But you also underestimate my resolve. And you should face reality. Easy for you to say. Facing reality offers me nothing. I have no need of anything that would stand in my way. Not hesitation, not self-reflection, and certainly not your so-called reality. It is pointless to argue further, descendant of the Kaidahara clan. If you wish to save this man, then offer me your body in exchange. No. How stubbornly you stick to your wayward path. I do not believe for a second that you can challenge the almighty Shogun in your current state. So let us make a bet, and I will put your strength to the test. What? Surely you're not planning to agree to his demands! Very well. Then find yourself some enemies with whom you wish to cross blades. A taste of my power will more than convince you. Once we have dealt with them, 
We shall proceed to Tenshukaku. And as for your end of the bargain, if you lose, you must release Aminoma Yuya from your control. I accept. Don't do this, Kazuha! This is the only way to save Amenoma Yuya. If we don't do this, he'll forever be the Blade's puppet. The Cursed Blade's strength is currently very weak, and I sense he's hesitating. This suggests his heart is still not completely devoid of honor. The power of the Tatarigami lies in intensifying existing obsessions. This is the reason Mr. Nagato and Amenoma Yuya fell prey to it. Since I don't have any similar kinds of obsessions, I should be able to put up some resistance for a while. But... even so... Even if things take a turn for the worse, I still have you both here with me. We have a chance here to save an innocent victim. I am willing to accept the risks entailed. Your disdain for me betrays your woeful ignorance. I agreed to this bet because there are things I wish to learn too. Now... Take me in your hand. They can fly? <laughs> Kazuha? I... I'm okay. I felt a little dizzy at first, but only for a moment. It's alright. So far, this was as I expected. I will. Thank you. What should we do next? Have you got a plan, Kazuha? We find some enemies. Although this blade has endured much turmoil, it probably hasn't experienced Bird. any real fights. If a blade built for Ishin art cannot enter a state of harmony between blade and bearer, it cannot unleash its true power. If he wants to avoid reality, then we need to fight until he has no choice but to face it. He shouldn't last long in an intense combat situation. Wait a minute! Paimon remembers hearing about something from the Adventurers Guild. Since the Takatsukasa clan abandoned that secret base, it's been held by Ronin ever since. Ah, uh, all right. Please lead the way. What about Amenoma Yuya? What should we do with him? The Blade says he'll let Amenoma Yuya trail us silently. Although he hasn't regained his own consciousness yet, he is not in any immediate danger. Are we sure this is a good idea? It's a pretty treacherous journey. Okay, fine. Just be careful. <laughs> Take it easy. The funkiest Oni Kabuto. My Kazuha build is weird? Absolutely. Lots of my builds don't make sense. But, to be fair, I wanted to make him Elemental Mastery. Oh. I'm not allowed to do that right now. Um, I think it's... Sand? The timepiece? Leave everything on this journey to me. Anyway, one of them I didn't know could have elemental mastery. One with nature. I mean, it's a main stat. Let's get down to business. Adorn my knights. The wind knows me. 
Blade is performing largely as I expected. Having gone so long without proper use and maintenance, it's become very difficult to use. Though he's making every effort to persevere, I do not think he can last much longer. Hmm. Something else on your mind? How strange. Rather than trying to control me, he is instead trying to match my fighting rhythm. Let's keep going. I do like that I'm only allowed to use Kazuha here. that his strength is slowly fading away. The blade is becoming more and more difficult for me to wield. He cannot hold out much longer. If he keeps persisting, he will likely break apart at any moment. But what would that do to Amanome Yuya? I will be careful with it. He also says he does not have any plans to give up easily. He's still trying to achieve his goal. I don't know, man. I'll argue this cost is way worse than mine. Is that not a real flame? like he's reached his limit. The sheen's grown a bit dimmer again. It doesn't look anywhere near as impressive as it did at the start. Perhaps this time, we'll finally have a chance to see his true form. True form? What are you talking about? Uh, huh? What the? Dull blade. Is this the same blade as before? It looks like a piece of junk. If you choose to continue in the state you're in, you wouldn't even be able to beat Samurai and Kairagi, much less the Almighty Shogun. Maybe you did truly wield power to rival the Shogun's light when first forged. But the long journey from Snezhnaya back to Inazuma has left you battered and broken. It barely needs stating anymore. Your ambition is a flight of fancy. I finally figured out why it was that you agreed to my bet. You wanted to reach a state of harmony with me. For perhaps then you would still be able to wield commendable power. But regrettably, we are nothing alike. I will never understand your obstinacy and cruelty, nor can I empathize with the one who made you. The only one who truly understood you had already passed away by the time you were born. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? There they are! Take them down! Yep, yep, we 
can help this time. Don't worry. I'll use my own blade. It's just more of the same. Wind strike! Into the wind! They have constellations on this Kazaha, though. You are a true Kaidehara in flesh and in spirit. Though we fought briefly together, you have seen me for who I really am. No one knew anything of my story throughout my travels, nor did I tell it to anyone. You are the first person to know the truth. I thought that if I could achieve Ishin harmony with you, perhaps there would still be a ray of hope for me. But in this too, you have failed. Indeed. No matter how hard I tried, I could not attain that perfect harmony that your personal blade does with you. Too much time has passed. My physical state is poor and without proper maintenance. I can only disguise my true appearance behind an outer sheen. Yours is the blade that took on the Muso no Hitotachi. And what a magnificent blade it is. Perhaps I shall never reach that level of glory. Actually, this is just a generic blade that I picked up during my travels in Liyue. What? Forging and maintenance are both important for a blade, but they are not everything. This blade has traveled the land with me for many years, and we have formed a close bond during that time. Plus, in the moment that I most needed it, I received aid from another power. Skill, blade, determination, and desire. All these must be aligned in the practice of Ishin art. <sighs> There is something else I must tell you. Though your maker may not have been aware, your ability to possess your own consciousness derived from the power of the Tatarigami. Tatarigami is a malevolence from the ancient past. It is the source of your mania and savagery. Though you tried to cooperate with me while I was wielding you, the part Ooh, of you driven by love Tatarigami it. was constantly trying to seize control of my body. Glad you didn't have to hit hard pity for I that. I sensed it, but I couldn't change it. It is an integral part of my consciousness. I resisted its temptations because I wanted to save Amenoma Yuya. But I do not know whether you yourself have any intention of trying to fight it. I feel a great sense of regret for you. Since you embarked on a journey bound for a destination you were destined never to reach. The moment you embarked on this journey... You lost the only person who could have ever unleashed your true potential. And yet there was no way for you to turn your back on his ambition. You have known this for a long time. It is the true source of your despair. He gave me everything. My life, my form, my consciousness and purpose. How could I possibly deny him his wish? I said to him, do not worry. From here on, I shall forge your legacy. How could I go back on my word? Aww. I believe our bet is now settled. I have nothing further to say. Where are you going, Kazuha? He just left? He now has neither the ability nor the motivation to cause further harm. Let's give him some time to reflect on things. Yeah. My timepiece is what I want to replace. Wow, I really settled. <laughs> 
for garbage for Kazuha. When I touched the hilt for the first time, it's as if I was transported to a strange dimension. It was somewhere I've never been. A bladesmith lay quietly on the bed, his frail face barely visible under the moonlight. His breaths were weak, and his life near its end. A newly forged blade lay by his side, listening attentively to his final words. Wow. That was the blade's memory, wasn't it? Indeed. While in exile in Snezhnaya, the bladesmith eventually learned the truth behind everything that had happened. The Ishin art had been dealt a devastating blow by the desertion of its best smiths. He spent the rest of his life in the forge, not to vent his frustration and hatred, but to atone for his actions. He felt intense regret at being tricked by the Fatui, but he could never again return to his homeland. His sole wish was to one day return his single proudest creation back to the land of his birth. So he instructed this sentient blade to find a way back to Inazuma, no matter how long or how hard the journey. But he never wished to rival the gods. All he wanted to show was that they once shone brilliantly as Blade and Smith. That they were still worthy of being trusted. So that's the true story. But after that, the blacksmith's intentions were worked by the Tatari Gami, slowly turning his proud creation into the cursed blade of today. Right. I believe the bladesmith might never have known that the power he worked with was that of the Tatarigami. The hatred within that power is what sent the blade down its ill-fated path. This blade has committed unforgivable atrocities, but only because it lost its original master. No one was there to correct its errors when it was losing its way. <sighs> Shame it's too late now. Yes, it is too late. Time would not wait or stop because of his determination. While the world moved on, his ambition remained stubbornly stuck at that fleeting moment at the dawn of his journey. He seems to have calmed down, though. Let's go and check in. I look back at the past. I can remember the day of my forging like it was just yesterday. I once told him that I would pay any price to fulfill his wishes. Such was the debt I owed to him for giving me the gift of consciousness. But darkness and slaughter numb the mind. Over time, I lost sight of the difference between gratitude and grudge. Not only did I fail to fulfill his ambition, I also defiled it. You are finally seeing reality clearly. Since we agreed to the terms of the bet, I will honor the agreement and release Amenoma Yuya. But I still cannot bring myself to forsake his ambition. It is the entire purpose for my existence. So. May I ask you to help me fulfill the ambitions of myself and my creator? Hey! Now you're adding yours into the mix, too? Jeez, don't push your luck, mister! It has to be done in this order. At least hear what I have to say. And if you don't agree, I will still release Amenoma Yuya, as promised. My physical form, as well as the knowledge I possess, should still be of some value to you. His attitude has grown a lot milder. What do you think, Kazuha? Should we give him a chance? Let's hear it. Thank you all. When I was first forged, my maker was already terminally ill. He told me that he had wanted me to have the grandest opening battle. Alas, after that... He never rose from his sickbed again, nor have I ever had the chance to prove myself in battle since. 
My fights were devoid of any noble meaning. They were merely the next step in my never-ending journey. The next in a long line of transgressions. You are a fine warrior. I would like to request your hand in battle and experience a true duel between samurai. Oh? And who would be the opponent? I will release Ame no Mayuya and restore his consciousness. Perhaps after that, you can convince him to commit to a fight with you. You must have plenty of reasons to both hate me and desire a good fight. Understood. Then let's start by waking him up and seeing if he has the stamina and will to fight. I see. He used my body to inflict harm on others. I utterly despise him and his actions. But since he stayed true to your agreement by releasing me, he must still have some remaining semblance of honor. If a duel can help to set this state of affairs in order, I am willing to put myself forward. I do not wish to be a mere victim in this story. There's no need to worry. We'll vouch for your innocence to the Terrio Commission. Thanks for your help. Who knows how this would have ended without your intervention. All right, then let's move on. More Ronin could appear at any moment. We can't stay here. In any case, for a final duel, I think we should aim for a greater sense of ceremony. Mmm, precious chest. I have no primos. We're going to fight in the water. This reminds Paimon a bit of the Crux Crash. Yep, we still can't let our guard down. Even now, Paimon has a sneaky Crab? suspicion that Blade hasn't told us everything. Still, even if he's way past the point of redemption... It's hard not to feel a teensy bit sorry for him. Are you ready? Ready? Okay. All right then. Successor of Ishin Art, Kaidahara Kazuha. Successor of Amenoma Art, Amenome Yuya. Honored to cross blades with you. It is my honor also. Oh. Wind I was definitely behind him. annoying thank you for the experience although he appears battered and broken in your hands it seems he's regained a glimmer of brilliance his sense of savage cruelty has completely faded away but that same sense of determination remains strong you also fought well I'm sure he relished the experience. There are a few things that I shall leave him to tell you himself. I must apologize to you for all that has transpired. You need not seek my forgiveness, nor do I have the right to forgive you on your victim's behalf. It is too late for all of that. I do not wish for forgiveness. I only hope that you will see my transgressions as mine alone and not let them stain the legacy of Ishin Art. I strayed far from the straight and narrow path, but the Ishin art still has a worthy successor in Kaede Hara Kazuha. 
I beseech you, please understand this. Yes. I too trust Mr. Kaedahara to do the right thing. Thank you, successor of Amenoma Art. This blade has also told me that he has another wish. He would like to visit the Amenoma Smithy. Maybe we can go back there together. What does he want to go there for? I am not sure, but I think that all this is about to come to an end. A visitor. It's Yuya. You have returned. I am sorry to have troubled you. It's all thanks to them that I was able to return safely. A prized Ishin blade, turned weapon that controls the human mind. <sighs> Considering their forging philosophy, this was indeed within the realm of possibility. This is a great pity. But I have some good news as well. Ryuji from the Bantan Sango Detective Agency tells me that they've found the missing Mr. Nagato. Really? Is he okay? Yes. Badly wounded, but he will live. And now that Yuya is back, it seems like the final ending to this story is a happy one after all. I think I know what you want to do. What's wrong, Kazuha? Is the blade whispering in your ear again? Yes. He said he wants to take control of me for a brief moment. What? No way! Hasn't it learned its lesson? He tells me that he's thought of another way to fulfill his maker's wish. And he assures me that he won't use my body for anything nefarious. I have decided to let him do it. Change your mind, huh? Thank you. I will explain my reasons later. Okay. I am ready. Let us begin. Please, stay true to your promise. <sighs> my power is almost spent. Without him, my eventual demise is inevitable. But if I abandon the future to give everything I have in this moment, my physical form can be forged anew. Everything? You mean... Yes. The cost is my entire consciousness. <laughs> you were right. There's nothing that I can accomplish now. But there's still a chance for Ishin art. Once remade, I will be a valuable resource for your studies. Ishin lives on, and its finest power is yet to come. Even if I am not the one to prove its might to the Shogun, as long as it is an Ishin blade, crafted by Kaedehara hands, it will still fulfill his final wish. Thank you, son of the Kaedehara clan. Over the years, my real name has been forgotten by all. I'm ashamed to utter it, yet it remains strong in my mind. Kagotsurube Ishii. This name is now yours. Rest in peace. So, that's why he said it had to be done in that order. His consciousness will disappear forever after fulfilling the bladesmith's wish. Kagotsurube Ishin. It was the first time I ever heard his name. It seems like deep down, he disapproved of his own actions. 
and thus chose to bury this name deep within his heart. Only in the final moments, before his consciousness faded, was he willing to entrust it to another. Seems like he really, really wanted to fulfill his maker's wish. The same fervent ambition that gave him the motivation to keep going forward also fueled the stubborn determination that blinded him to the path ahead. Speaking for myself, I'd rather see him recognize and atone for his mistakes than see him punished for them. I understand. Perhaps this is a flaw in my personality. I've always been captivated by grand aspirations. Hearing his wish to rival the divine light touched something inside of me. Just as the sight of those who fought to repeal the vision hunt decree did, your quest to face the gods and trace your sibling inspires me in the same way. After everything I've seen, perhaps these pursuits fascinate me a little more than they should. Oh, Hazua. I will continue to support you from this point on. Know that you will have my assistance whenever you need it. Wait, shouldn't we also go update Kujo Kamaji? Oh. You're right. We need to tell him about the findings of our investigation. And it's also time to give him a response to the offer he made me. Is there a single tall Animo character? Is Jean the tallest? <laughs> so I'm trying to think about how amazing it would be to have this Animo speed boost. Freestyle, what's up? I kind of wish I had Jean, but at the same time, I would not use her. Whoa. Thank you for the follow. A wonderful the surprise. Has already attended to the danger at the warehouse. The investigation into Amanoma Yuya should conclude soon. I do not believe he will be charged with any crime. Wow, you sure kept your ear to the ground. Then we needn't recount all the details again. Now, as to your earlier offer. I wish to give you my answer. Please, take a look at this blade. What's this? Kagotsurube Ishin. A weapon crafted using a long-lost blade forging art of the Kaidahara clan. By means of a series of fortuitous events, I was able to recover and restore him. I also promised him that I will continue to study and pass on the secrets of Ishin art. And so, it looks like I will likely continue with my journey across the nations, learning more about this blade as I go. Uh, I see. I understand. The Kaidahara clan has always been a family of bladesmiths, so it is only proper for me to continue on this path. Were I to accept your goodwill, I may find myself embroiled in conflicts between the Shogunate and Sangonomiya. That would not suit me. Uh, you misunderstand. That was most certainly not our intent. I am aware, but I still desire to continue walking my own path. Very well. I can understand. Then let's pretend this offer was never raised. However, if you should ever change your mind or find yourself in need of the Shogunate's assistance, please do not hesitate to inform me. Great. Thank you for your generosity. Where will you travel to next, Hazua? Hmm. I'll probably take to the seas with Captain Beto again for now. As for my next destination, let's see where the wind takes me. Yeah! <laughs> it 
Is that a stinky weapon, though? Spiral Abyss time? What kind of demand is this? You gotta get the last two stars. When a normal charged or plunging attack hits an opponent, it will whip up a hooing gale? Uh-huh. Dealing AoE damage equal to 180% of attack. And increasing attack by 15% for 8 seconds. I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't sound very good for Kazuha. Okay. Procrastination, gang. Let's take a look at what's in here. All right, first off. Let's see what team I used last time. Cryohypostasis. Oh my God, it's the same thing as Deluke's thing. This is the worst, man. Okay. Let's take a look here. So I don't need to worry about this first one. I just need to not die on it. It's these two right here that I need to worry about. So, Takaru, I remembered you talking about Sunflower. Shall I try it for the Serpent? 36 Star Time Fog? I... I'm so... Spoiled, I guess, I should say. Most of the time... I do not get 36 stars. 34 or 35 is as far as I go most of the time. But all of the last update, I got 36 every time very fast. So I guess it was just a shockingly easy stretch. Um, So that's only two of the four characters, though. Who else should I bring along? You think Bennett? And anyone else? Might as well just make it somebody that can buff her. Xiangling and Bennett have to be there. Okay. Makes it a little bit complicated for my next team. The worst part about this is that I... I'm not good at using my other characters. At least not particularly good. Does... I, I, I actually don't think it matters. I don't think anybody will argue that I probably shouldn't try to use Yoimiya here. Let's 
Sing Cho can put wet on himself. Maybe you shouldn't use him. We'll use Yulon instead. For all the extra stuff. And Barbara's usually my go-to. Wait, use double Hydro meta? Are you saying use Singcho and Yolon? I mean, it, it rips, don't get me wrong, but I feel like I'm going to get frozen. Wish me luck. Just don't let me forget that I don't actually need to rush through the first chamber. too much. I'm very impatient right now. Oh, it's the cryo shit that's doing that. Okay, I'm not entirely crazy. My animations are slower. Time to act. There's the freeze I was talking about. I got it. This is driving me insane. I missed. Hello? Politely. You forgot how not fun C Zero Hu Tao is? Yeah. Yeah, I don't. That's why I don't like using her. She runs out of stamina so fast, and me not being, like, totally acclimated to her animation cancel, it makes it so that I waste stamina, too. It's my lucky day. Do your master's bidding. Do your history. Eat this. For Rex Lapis. Finally, I... To the fiery, I... Next on the agenda... Fall before me. My will and body. Nice and spicy. Mm. Everybody stand back. Let's light it up. Next on the agenda. Energy problems. Energy problems. I will disagree with none of your statements. Cryo incarnate. No touching. No, oh, my aim's bad too. Sir, we're done here. Just 
Stop. Gone you without a shield is copia. I don't have a shield. I'm not like you blessed players with Zhang Li. Toma's shields are not good. And Noel's shield isn't really that good either. I don't have Diona built. Sir. No. Sir. This isn't good. Oh, it's already happening. Here comes the cash. Time to act. I really had to get hit by that. Gotcha. Leaves me barely over a minute and a half after the easy part is done. This part without a shield is impossible? Huh? <laughs> I assume you mean the next part. What is this again? Ah, we can retry. It's whatever. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to. Gotcha. This is in the fucking no. toilet. Hold it back. Oh my god. Anyway. Let me leave you a verse. My good sir. Wait, is that a hydro gunner? No. Rain outlines your fate. Feel like I'm going crazy right now. This is the easy part of this chamber. Well, I'm not looking very smart right now. They have iframes? I don't feel like I did damage to him at the beginning there. Remember 
Yeah, me too. Hey, wait. Who tells supposed to be alive right now? Whatever. Is there a different approach I can take here? Not getting hit by that, I guess. Oh, I'm I guess I'd have a pyro applied on me anyway. Cooldowns? Might I inquire about my cooldowns, ma'am? I... I don't know about this man. That was the best thing I could have asked for, honestly. What are you going to do next? You are, sir. That was really not great. Okay, give me like 10 15 minutes so I can like reset my mind on that one. Um I'll have to like prep myself to not get hit by the cryo guys as much. The slowdown on my animations is kind of crazy. Um and I'll have to think of a better order of operations. for whatever moves the serpent decides to use. But yeah, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go eat some food, think about it, and I'll be back. Wanna come over for tea?
one client, two clients, three clients. Wanna come over for tea? One client, two clients, three clients. Wanna come over for tea? One client, two clients, three clients. Wanna come over for tea? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> 
to live. One client, two clients, three clients. to live. When the sun's out, bathe in sunlight. But when the moon's out, bathe in moonlight. Wanna come over for tea? One client, two clients, three clients. Wanna come over for tea?
when the sun's out, bathe in sunlight. But when the moon's out, bathe in moonlight. Silly churl, billy churl, silly billy hilly churl. One client, two clients, three clients. Silly churl, billy churl, silly billy hilly churl. Wanna come over for tea? When the sun's out, bathe in sunlight, but when the moon's out, bathe in moonlight. One client, two clients, three clients. When the sun's out, bathe in sunlight. But when the moon's out, bathe in moonlight. Silly churl, billy churl, silly billy.
One client, two clients, three clients. When the sun's out, bathe in sunlight. But when the moon's out, bathe in moonlight. Huh? <laughs> Toodaloo. One client, two clients, three clients. Huh? All right. <laughs> Let's see if I can do any better this time. My guess is no. Busted. Let me weave you a brush. Yep, I already got frozen. No, my sword. Rain outlines your Actually, I want to know what just ate all of my... What is it eating my stamina? Manipulating the human enemies is a little bit weird, especially with those Fatui. He's just a blubbering mess. Like, he walks towards me. And he will turn around really fast, all things considered. And then I just froze myself there. Hello again. I'm struggling. I'm almost thinking I just do another team again for the first half. But I don't know who I would use. Gotcha. Ring cutter. Hey, it's no big deal. 
I always appreciate the company. Why am I stuck up here? That is not fair. See you, Takaru. You know... Would it be entirely crazy if I... Brought Yoimiya? It really is slightly upsetting. That's really frustrating. I don't even know how he did it the first time. See here. Hmm. So we'll just do the same thing for this this team. This one shouldn't be a problem. Just as long as I can get a better attempt at it. Diana's shield probably wouldn't be the worst thing to have. Okay. We're just focused on not dying here. That's actually really annoying. In a funny way this time, though. to be that annoying. Oh, Yoimiya's targeting is painful. She's been out of combat forever, just let me do the thing! Was not built for Spiralibus. I get so frustrated so easily with it. Have the heart for this. Watch it. Ready, steady, go. 
Things are about to get dicey. <laughs> Why? Get off. I'm so lame. Right, hopefully this part's better. Do your master's bidding. Teamwork is true. No touching. There's more. Oh yeah, your sword can block this entire rain of fucking ice, bro. Never gonna stop. Ah, that's fine. Fall before me. You win. I just need to hold up on my patience. We're not at the important part. Witness the power of Gugwa. Fire hazard. Oh, this is out. Let's not talk about that one. in mind. Let me weave you a book. How does she manage to not crit that often? Her crit rate is like nearly 100. Swear on it. Why is the serpent allowed to shoot? And I still got three stars on that one. 
I guess the team's not fundamentally that different. Alright, this is the worst part. Okay, okay, it's, it's still maddening, and I need to clear my throat, so it's gonna make me seem even more angry than I am. There is a way. I could feel it. Okay. Are there bursts of... Sorry, my throat after I eat is just the worst. Is there something I'm missing? Is there a burst of cryo that happens? Because I was not near those guys whenever I got frozen. I'm not even going to bother. If I get frozen, I'm restarting. Okay, no, that's for me getting hit by them first. If I get hit by one of them, then I'm open to just getting frozen. That's just how it is. I just wish I could kill one of them. Just one of them before they start doing their shield. Things are about to get Ring cutter. Fire hazard. Close enough. So irritating. May my final stand be a mo la, 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 la. Let me weave you a verse. Time for a light show.
Or maybe instead of trying to deal damage with the combo, because that doesn't even make sense here in this context. I should just stand back as Yoimiya and use her charged attack to take down that shield. Please just die. I think I have slightly more time than last time. Oh my god. Yoimiya saved me. Gems. Get out of here. These guys aren't done yet, are they? Another hour. I can't take it. This realm is if you ever have Need to make a couple more of the Sumatral things for talents. Ooh, Sucrose, no bonus. What else can I do over there? I have to have missed something. I 
Maybe on one of these islands? Maybe? I don't recall, like, actually exploring them. Something tells me there was a much better way up. Bitch. I'm not having any of it with enemies today anymore. Hey guys. You feeling kind of dumb down there as I fall off? Oh, if there's... Fatui stuff up there, then surely I've been here. Yeah. But I'm thirsty for some Primo gems. Bombs aren't very good at destroying those things. That's my last wish ever. There's no more after this. Oh, I accidentally climbed to the tallest one, too. Does sound like something I would do. What? He just ascended. Yeah. 
Who's mad now? You know what? It's a no from me. No chest over here, though. <laughs> Klee is a killing machine. Doesn't look like there's a chest over there. The enemies spawned in then. Surely other stuff would have to. That's the Fatui camp. I've searched Fischl's stuff pretty well. I'm just gonna go over there. <laughs> it's gonna take a while though, yeah. Oh, I'm not allowed to... I'm not allowed to navigate that, huh? My good sir, can you please leave me alone? I think my favorite part about Abyss Mages is that their mask face thing doesn't appear to be attached to their body. That's a new one over there. Don't know how I haven't done it. Looks like this is still technically part of Fischl's part of the Mirage. What say you? Darn. Gotcha. Yeah. 
Yeah, I've done it. I did it. You can thank me now. Camera's being very weird. What? Rock over there, my dude. What did you say? Okay, poor little rock. And hard left immediately. Seem toward the rocks. Left of that reef. Turn right. Mm -hmm. I've been led astray. But he's right there. I see something over there. What I could do. See that large shadow in the distance? The game mechanics made that confusing for no reason. This picture was left behind by Akko Domeki and company. The secret of where the treasure is hidden, it was split into four parts and placed amidst the reefs of the four large islands. And this is the second part. Make a circle with a radius 22 large boat lengths long with this place as its center. The treasure is hidden where the four circles meet. I'm not going all the way over there, so let's start back over here. Uh, this is 
probably something else over there, huh? I'll figure it out. If there's more chests on the reef than just the one, then we'll know. Like for the clue. Should turn back to normal soon? Whoop. Okay. What's that about? Is there anything to interact with? I don't really understand why... Paimon made that comment. Also, having stuff go by that fast in passing without it being voiced is frankly stupid. Sorry, six. Mm. Easy money. I guess for you it is. It's good. Yeah, send it straight up. just silly. Bro moment. I don't think there actually was anything else here, which is good, I guess. There's a lot of primos in there. Free of other loot. 
Okay, where's the next one? I just don't know. That's probably it, honestly. I see it. The clue? <laughs> you can't tell me that was it. The things we left behind remain at the center of this island. We said we would come back to retrieve them, but that's probably not going to happen. But that's okay. Treasure is supposed to be given to whoever discovers it first. Listen carefully. Set off from this reef on a clear night and remember to look up. Continue ahead, following the stars until you see a constellation. Then make your way to where the whirlpools converge. That's where I've left one of the four clues to obtain the treasure. In other words, they just faked me out. Okay, let's read that one more time. Oh my gosh. On a clear night. They don't give me a direction. So I guess I'll just have to look up. Oh my god, it is a clear night. Setting off on a clear night. Looking up. Is that what I'm looking for? It's a funky looking constellation up there. Kind of looks like a Beyblade. And then from here we're looking for whirlpools. He's done it. And this one says... Oh. They all just say the same thing. Quite silly of me to think otherwise. go out around from here see what I can see
Does it have to be foggy though? Cause I... That looks like it should be it. Not 100% on it though. Get me that easy. Wait until the leaves have all turned red, then dock on the island from the east. You will be able to see a broken bridge. Cross the gap between the two mountains from the broken bridge's location, then go left. What you seek will be under a red leaf tree. I think, I think I'm able. has to mean this, right? Okay. The leaves are all red. You will now be able to see, oh, then dock on the island from the east. Is this the broken bridge? Probably not. Does it have to be on the freaking bottom of this thing. From the east, over there. Get shut on.
What? Where's the last one? Oh, shit. Just try that again. Hopefully not get so confused this time. just right here. I do not know what Mr. Man up here is doing. Oh, it's a... Yeah. I get it. Hujo Zara, I require your assistance. What is he just chilling there for, hmm? <gasps> there was the steppy thing that I didn't do somewhere else, too. I gotta ride around the whole place at some point. Are you good? Evil shall be. I should probably also describe Sealy. Wait, wasn't there a way down over here too? Worthless. I'm not gonna make it. Clee, you actually failed me. Clee. Why didn't you glide? does not want to glide at all.
quietly now. La la la, jumpy jumpy go! How could they make Klee cry like that? Rude as hell. Okay, I want to focus on this quest. But I also actually have no clue what bridge is being talked about here. It's a dock from the east, right? That's what I did. Or maybe they literally just meant this. I don't know. Fight back. Cross the gap between the two mountains from the Broken Bridge's location. Nope, I don't get it. NTVH honest. I'm kind of spent at the moment. Yeah, I'm going to call it for now and hopefully me stopping in the middle of a puzzle doesn't fuck me over again. But like this one has a clue right there. Mm. We'll see how bad it goes next time. Anyway, thank you all for being here. And Lightning Freestyle, thank you again for the follow. I'll be back at some point. We'll see what my work schedule allows me to do. So I'll pop up again. Don't you worry. See you next time.